PW1 Pocket Watch Tools. Here we're going to explain to you what tools you'll need to use on a daily basis while fixing pocket watches. Together you'll find that watch pads and movement holders are very useful in making assembly easier and safer. This small tool is used to measure the size of watches, both wristwatches and pocket watches, in American and European sizes. Pocket watch sleeve tools are used to adjust the sleeve depth in a pocket watch case so that you can accurately insert the stem and crown into any pocket watch. Watch setting and winding tools are used during the assembly of a pocket watch or a wristwatch. They are used to test after you've assembled the winding and setting mechanisms to make sure that the watch works perfectly. A common repair for watches are changing the balance staffs. After the staff has been replaced, the balance wheel caliper is used to assure that the staff and the balance wheel are in true, more balanced and straight. We'll be showing you how to use this tool in the repair course. This small tool measures the dimensions of a mainspring pocket watch for both wristwatches and pocket watches, mostly of vintage and antique. If you can find one of these tools, they do come in handy, but they are not necessary. This small tool is used to remove a balance staff from a balance wheel. Mainspring winders are used almost every time that you clean or service a watch. Another common repair is replacing a broken mainspring. Although you might see or hear of people using their hands to place the springs into the mainspring barrel, you will want to use a good set of mainspring winders so as not to damage the spring or contaminate the spring with body oils and debris. This is a must-have tool. We'll be teaching you how to use this tool in the assembly and service courses. A good set of watchmaker screwdrivers are very important. Get yourself the best set that you can afford as you will be using each of these sizes all the time. A very good set of watchmaker screwdrivers can be maintained easily and replacement blades can be purchased instead of replacing the entire driver itself at reasonable prices. The proper use of these screwdrivers will be demonstrated during all of our watch courses. Ultrasonic cleaners are important tools to use for cleaning your parts and materials. Cleaners come in various sizes and powers. They are used primarily for cleaning watch parts and jewelry. Some have heaters, some have multiple power settings, and others only serve as plain ultrasonic cleaners with no heating or variable power options. Good ultrasonic cleaners can cost from $60 to $600 or more. Consider the amount of time and effort you will be putting into these courses before purchasing a cleaner as other options are available. We will be using ultrasonic cleaners, watch and jewelry cleaning solutions throughout these courses. Cleaning bowls or benzene bowls, bowls with glass lids, can be used as substitutes for ultrasonic cleaners. Warm water and cleaning solution can be manually agitated to clean parts. Having other bowls available with rinse solutions are also necessary as you will be moving the clean parts into the rinse solution and then preparing them for drying. Small ultrasonic baskets are needed for either option as you'll have to have a place to hold small parts for easy removal and placing from cleaning to rinsing solutions. You'll also want to have a good package of cotton gloves that you'll be using for assembly purposes. Cotton gloves should be worn when you're assembling pocket watches or wristwatches so that you don't contaminate the materials that you've already cleaned. Watch paper or watchmaker's paper is used to dry parts. Placing a wet part onto the paper allows it to absorb the moisture from the part after it has been cleaned. In addition, 
you'll want to have a hand dryer. They are used to lightly blow a light stream of air across a wet part to assist in the drying process. Taking sets are tools used to perform various types of repairs to watch parts. Examples include replacing balance staffs or other types of staffs, tightening gears, setting jewels, and even the removal or separation of parts that have been pressed together. Good, complete, used staking sets are available, but are difficult to find. New staking sets are available, and different types and sizes can be purchased. The use of the staking sets will be demonstrated and explained in our watch repair courses. For the proper placement of watch parts and the very small screws that hold them together, you will need to have a variety of styles and shapes of tweezers. You'll be using these tweezers each time that you service or repair a watch. Non-magnetic tweezers are preferred as that they will not allow magnetization of the watch that you are repairing.